and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of August 3rd, 2020. Almost said September on that one. We are officially one month away from the presidential election. And the president is currently in the hospital because he's been confirmed positive with COVID-19. And they say that he is also not going to be charged for his hospitalization for being in there for COVID-19, which I think is really unfair because everyone else that gets in the hospital for COVID-19 is going to be getting a bill. I think that if you're in the hospital for COVID-19 related symptoms and you have to be in there for that, then you should not get billed for it at all because it's called equality after all. And if the, pre if the president gets, don't have to get billed for it, then why should we? These were all equal after all. Plus, also, three Republican senators have also been tested positive for COVID-19. But as far as the stimulus goes, Nancy Pelosi and Stephen Mnuchin will most likely work through the weekend on next stimulus talks. But the biggest issue with the stimulus is the state and local assistance to the dollar amount. Because the White House wants to give $250,000, sorry, $250 billion dollars <laughs> to the state and local assistance, whereas the Democrats want $436 billion. We, we do know that Mnuchin had at least one call with the Republican Center letting them know that any deal with Pelosi would involve a lot of state and local assistance. Like I said, the state and local assistance is a very hot spot right now for Pelosi. Because the they like said Democrats want this for well actually Pelosi wants this for the state and local assistance and the Republicans think that it's her way of trying to bail out the states that have been hit hard because of all the looting, rioting and stuff like that. Because of all the since the George Floyd murder. Although he, he believes all the Democratic states are in need of this money to actually rebuild, and that's why the Republicans don't want to do it. That's why they want a low baller. And then plus, they might go for a phased-in stimulus check in the range of $1,000 to $1,200, but this has not been confirmed yet. It's actually a rumor. Republicans want to keep the eligibility for the stimulus check as it was in the original CARES Act, where if you have to actually have a Social Security number, whereas Democrats want to give uh, the, the, the people out there that have an ITIN, which is an, an individual tax identification number, a temporary social security number basically, a stimulus check as well. Pelosi called for the airlines to hold off on the layoffs for the people that are on furlough because she's also said that any stimulus packages that are going to be coming out there are going to have aid in them for the airlines. There is a lot of optimism in DC. Stephen Moore an economic advisor for the White House says that the Republicans and Democrats are closing in on a compromise. That's right, a compromise. Now, will this compromise actually hurt the American people or help the American people? Only one way to find out. He believes that there is a 65% chance that there will be a stimulus deal within the next two weeks. Unemployment is still a hot spot because the Republicans want to extend the, it at $400 a week, like you already know from my earlier previews, but they want it to end on December of this year. Whereas the Democrats want to extend it at $600 a week and it, it ends on January of 2021. Both Republicans and Democrats won't give, want to give tax credits for each child dependent, but the Democrats want to give $57 billion for this program Whereas the White House and the Republicans only want to give $27 billion for this program. Nancy Pelosi said that the president getting COVID-19 could speed up the agreement for the negotiations. I don't know how, but I'm guessing taking the president out of the picture might help. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, we all know that the president is actually a hothead and does not keep his mouth shut. Just like his Russian wife, Melania. And as far as this whole COVID-19 thing goes, I figured that President Trump should suffer with COVID-19 one day 
for every American life lost to COVID-19 because he downplayed it. That would put it that President Trump would suffer for over 200,000 days with COVID-19. I don't want him to die from it. Just suffer from it so he knows what he brought on to the American people by downplaying it and not letting us know what was going on when we, when we needed to know. I know this may not sit well with a lot of people, but you know what? That's their problem, not mine. This is just my opinion on what should, I believe should happen with President Trump and at this present time, as well as his First Lady Melania Trump. Because she's also been talking a lot of trash about the um, stimulus package as well. I'm not going to get into that because that's not part of my, my broadcast. But she's not really happy with the Democrats and their stimulus package as well because I get, I'm guessing the Russian is Republican. And is on the topic of Melania Trump as well, she I don't really believe she's actually a real American citizen just because Donald Trump had to buy her a Einstein visa to get her inside the United States. Well, and this is where my problem comes in. I mean, he bought her an Einstein visa, and an Einstein visa says that you're allowed to come to the United States because you have an exceptional intelligence. We've already proven that Melania Trump does not have an exceptional t intelligence. Therefore, she should not be qualified for an Einstein visa, and they should not be able to buy Einstein visas either. Those should be basically given out to the people that actually prove they have the intelligence to qualify for such visas. But like I said, this is also my opinion as well. But the him buying the Einstein visa for Melania Trump is actually the truth. He actually did do that. So he had a So Donald Trump had to kiss a lot of butt to get that visa for his wife. But I do have questions for you. Do you think that uh, President Trump getting COVID nineteen will help speed up or slow down the stimulus talks? Do you also believe that with him being in a hospital that the Democrats and Republicans will be able to come to an agreement on a higher amount for people for the stimulus packages and the stimulus checks? If you do, please comment in my comment bar below because I'd actually appreciate your comments. But until next time, all you guys out there have a wonderful Saturday. Please stay safe out there. Try to get as much food as you, in you as you possibly can because, like I said, we are all in this together. We need to stay in this together. We need to stay strong together and overcome this COVID-19 virus the best we can. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful Saturday, and I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow. You guys have a wonderful night. Bye.